Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. Today we are going to be looking at variant, component, and some properties of our variant. So let's get into it. So before we start, we're going to add a text account. So with this text, I'm going to change the font size to maybe SF which doesn't matter. So now the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this text is in an auto layout. So to do that, you press shift A to create an auto layout. So once you press shift A, you're going to get this frame. So now we're going to do some settings here. I'm going to make sure that whatever we're doing, the alignment, our text should always be at the center. Then on at the bottom here, we have the horizontal padding. So I will change this to 20. So now you see here on the left hand side, sorry, on the right hand side, we have 20. On the left hand side, we also have 20. But at the top and bottom, we have 10 each. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a fill. So to do that, I'll scroll down and click on fill. Then quickly, I will change this color so that my text will be visible. So once you've done this, I think we're done with this. So I want to add an icon here. So for me to add an icon, for everybody to follow, I have an icon pack, but we are going to be using Iconify so that everybody can follow on your plugin, Iconify. So I'm going to pick this icon, I'll search for account, then pick this icon, then drop it here. So I think I can still drag this and then put it inside this frame here. So because of the auto layout, you notice that this is responsive after I place this item inside. So we can quickly change the color of this to white. To do that, you have to make sure you're selecting this and then make sure you're changing that using the selection color, not the fill. I'll change this to white. So after that, the next thing I want to do here is I want to convert this frame to a component. And to do that, I'm going to select the frame and click on the icon here, create component. So once it's done, you notice that the color has been changed to purple. So let's see how we can use component in our project. So I'm going to duplicate this one and then duplicate again two and drag. After the duplication, the first one we're having, that's the frame, becomes our master file. Let me drag that to the top here. Please, the frame becomes the master file and each of the duplicate becomes an instance of the frame. So what that means is that I can control the color and some properties of this two from the master here that's the frame if you notice the icon change so this is an instance this is also an instance of the frame so let's do something cool here let me try and change the color of the frame one here that's the master i'll scroll down select this and change this to let's say you notice automatically all the colors of the children changes in response to the master if i change this to blue the response so I'll take it back to the original color so now let's do something cooler something better there are situations whereby we don't want an icon on our buttons so I'm going to introduce you to properties so I'm going to select this frame once you select this please you can click out then select this so here on my right hand side, I'm going to see properties. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here. So once you click on this, 
we have an option boolem variant instance swap which we're going to be covering so i will be selecting the boolem so here the name of the property is has icon and then i'm going to set it the default value should be true so i'm going to create this on your right hand side you notice we have the property created but here it's telling me that this property is not in use so i will show you how to use this so we're going to click on this icon here so once you click on this icon we are going to connect this to the property so to do that you go to the right hand side make sure you look for the layout so you see i have a layer here so i'm going to click on this you see i can create a new property or i can select the property i have already created so i'll click on this has icon so how can we test this so i'm going to pick one of this child here and then once you select any of the child you see the has icon here so i can uncheck this wow you see and i can do this and then if we select this other child here we can do the same thing if you duplicate this again ctrl d and then i drag this down this is like the third child it has the same property so let's take another instance whereby we want the effects to be a property i think you can pause the video and try that so i believe you must have tried that but if you did not get it we're going to do that together so i'm going to double click sorry i'm going to select the frame here and then i'm going to add a new property to this on my property i'll click on this boolem we're going to say has fix and by default this should be true and i'll click on the create property so on the right hand side i get this option not used within component so we're going to put that into you so i'm going to select the text here after that we go back here on the layer we're going to connect this to the property which is the has text so now we're going to pick one of the child here and let's turn off the text you see so i can close this i can open this the same thing here you do that from the master has icon i can turn this off so the next thing i want us to do is for this text there are times whereby you want to change the text so we can also add the input as a property so that i don't have to double click on this to start changing the text so we're going to add another property to this so i will select the frame and then we're going to add a property here this time i'm going to add a text so here i will just name this input and the default value i will set that to account here then create this so now i've created a new attribute but once i get down here you see it is not used so i'm going to select the text here and then at the bottom here you have to scroll down to see the content so after seeing the content here i'm going to select this and then apply the input here so now when i select this child i can just scroll up here and then where i have this i can just change this to let's say profile profile you see so i don't have to double click on this and i can also turn on the icon so now the next thing i want us to look is variant so after creating this what variant variant is from the word variation so let's say if the user hover over this we want to maybe change the background for this so this is going to help you in prototyping so now to add a variant to this i'm going to select the plus sign at the top but you must make sure that you are selecting the frame 
So I'm going to select the plus sign here. So now I have a variation here. So now I can just name this maybe a hover. If the user hover over this, that's the name of the property. Hover. So if the user hover over this, I want to change the color a bit. So I'll be using an obvious color so that we can all follow along. So the fill here, or I can just use the fill. I will change that to yellow here. This is a variant. So now I'm going to prototype here. So once the user hover over this, I want to have this. So this now, it will be while hovering. So now you see the property here, we are selecting here hover. So I'm selecting hover, not the default. So I can close this now. So the next thing I want to do is I want to just add a frame here. Add a frame. You can manually create your own frame. So here, let's say, I will just drag these three items inside this frame here. So I think I can click on the presentation. So let's hover over this. You see, we have this. If I hover over this, we have this. So this, the last one, which is the instance swap, I'll be releasing it in our next video. So please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe, share this with friends and family. Thank you. See you.